Hello and welcome back to another sweet upload. In this video we'll continue our creme anglaise series and use this method to make chocolate ice cream. Creme anglaise falls under the category of stirred custard, meaning it's cooked on the stove, whereas a baked custard is finished in the oven. Custard can be defined as a liquid that is thickened by the coagulation of egg proteins. This liquid is often a dairy product as we will see today, but does not necessarily have to be. If this is the first video you've viewed in the creme anglaise series, these terms may be new to you. If not, these will be familiar already. We have BTB, which means bring to boil. Nap, a French term that refers to the sauce that has the consistency to coat the back of a spoon. And tempering, which refers to slowly bringing together ingredients of extremely different temperatures. You will see this today in the combining of hot dairy with cold egg yolks. Sanitation must always be top priority in any kitchen, and when making creme anglaise, strict adherence to proper handling of ingredients is vital due to the use of highly perishable items such as dairy products and eggs. Understanding the critical control points in the procedure will assist in alleviating time and temperature abuse. Pay close attention to the proper heating and cooling temperatures throughout the process. The procedure for chocolate anglaise is the same as for vanilla with the addition of chocolate to the hot cooked custard. Here's a quick look at the steps for our demo. You'll notice that each video in the anglaise series will follow the same basic steps. This is what is referred to as method. No matter what the different ingredients or amounts are, the procedure always remains the same. Memorizing method is imperative to your development in the kitchen. Here's today's recipe for chocolate ice cream base. For a printable PDF copy of the recipe, click the link in the video description. Remember, it's always a good idea to have a printout available to take notes of your experience while cooking anything for the first time. Let's have a look at today's ingredients. We have heavy cream and whole milk, sugar, egg yolks, vanilla bean, corn syrup, salt, and semi-sweet chocolate. We'll start by adding a small amount of sugar to the dairy. Adding the sugar will assist the dairy from scorching while heating. Next, we'll add the salt and corn syrup to the liquid. The corn syrup in the recipe is to provide a more smooth mouthfeel in the churned ice cream. Slice the vanilla bean in half lengthwise using a paring knife. Next, scrape the vanilla pod and add to the liquid. Place the pot on the stove and bring to boil under a medium to medium high heat. As the liquid is heating, combine the egg yolks and sugar and whisk together thoroughly. It's important to whisk immediately to prevent coagulation of the eggs, which would cause lumps in the anglaise. As the liquid mixture comes up to temperature, remove from the heat and slowly temper the hot liquid into the egg mixture while constantly whisking. Be sure not to add the liquid too quickly to prevent the eggs from cooking. Pour the mixture back into the pot and return to the stove. On medium heat, stir constantly to cook the mixture to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Cooking in the custard to this temperature will not only thicken it, but will also allow for safe consumption of the product. Use of a probe thermometer is highly recommended. Once the anglaise has thickened to nap consistency, it is ready to remove from the heat. This will occur at about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Be careful not to overcook the mixture or you will end up with fully coagulated eggs resembling scrambled eggs. There is no saving the anglaise after overcooking. From here, add the semi-sweet chocolate to the hot anglaise. Stir thoroughly to completely melt the chocolate. Remove the vanilla bean and blend with an immersion blender if available. If you don't have an immersion blender, that's okay. Just mix very thoroughly to make sure the chocolate is melted and well incorporated. 
Next, strain the hot chocolate on glaze and wrap it chill in an ice bath. Once cooled, let rest under refrigeration overnight. The next day, the anglaise will have an even more thick consistency and be ready for churning. Churn the base in an ice cream machine according to the manufacturer's instructions. This Cuisinart frozen dessert maker can churn about a quart of ice cream in about 25 to 30 minutes. While the ice cream is churning, monitor the machine about every 5 minutes or so and determine if any of the frozen custard along the sides needs to be scraped. Continue to churn the ice cream until it reaches soft serve consistency. This is the consistency you would typically find from an ice cream cone from a fast food restaurant, amusement park, or sports stadium. Under churning the ice cream would result in a quick melting custard that will likely form ice crystals when frozen solid. Over churning would produce a very stiff consistency that could freeze very solid when completely frozen. Be sure to understand what soft serve consistency looks like. This ice cream is now ready to be enjoyed at soft serve consistency or placed in the freezer to harden further for later use. And there you have it, the key points to chocolate ice cream using the Anglaise method. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up to support the channel, and for more baking and pastry tutorials, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching everyone, be well, be safe, and I'll see you soon for another sweet upload.